Hey guys, Todd from Juno Bait coming at you today with Fisher here on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Who do we need to say about Happy Valentine's Day to? Media crew. To the media crew. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day to our awesome media crew. <laughs> So, another Thursday fishing report already. It seems like we just sat down and did this one last week, right? Yeah. This week flew by. The fishing was kind of, yeah, not so great, right? Did you hear anything different? Uh -uh. <laughs> That's kind of my, the, my thought on that. Offshore fishing-wise, there was a handful of sailfish around. They did catch some dolphin, but no big numbers. Just a scattering of dolphin. There's some, a good number of kingfish, with most of the kingfish being on the larger side, right? Mm -hmm. Around 120 feet of water from Palm Beach Inlet all the way up to Jupiter. Day to day on the bottom fishing, catch some bottom fish one day, not so much the next. And there has been some cobia showing up, which has got everybody kind of excited. We're in that um, kind of that transition period where it's not winter, it's not spring. You know, front today, the wind's howling out of the north north northeast and then it switches right around the southeast by the weekend so kind of in transition february time not spring yet not a full winter pattern it's kind of got to deal with that inshore wise snook fishing has been pretty good uh there's been some keepers around catching some fish at night on the bridges throwing what's our snook lure of choice right now flare hawk flare hawk lure of choice for us a uh, shrimp jig is also working very effectively live shrimp Around the dock lights is a solid choice. Don't get as many big fish that way, but for numbers, it's a good way to go. A few pompanos still being caught in the Loxhatchee River, but that's really slowed down. The Hope Sound Flats have had some fish up there, mixed bags, some jacks, some ladyfish, maybe a trout, redfish. Uh, so not bad fishing up there. Live shrimp is a solid choice for bait if you're up there. Mile marker 40, 44 is a good area to be if you get a strong west wind, southwest wind, which I think is in the forecast. Don't be afraid to fish the east side of the intercoastal as well. Um, you know, just get on the less windy side. It'll make it a lot more convenient for you. The hand signals are awesome. They're really helping. <laughs> Surf and pier wise, uh, the Juno Beach Pier has had some kingfish around early in the morning, late in the afternoon. They are catching some pompano, throwing the goofy jig. A lot of other stuff mixed in. There's been blue runners and ladyfish and jacks that you need quite a few jigs because the ladyfish especially will take those jigs. Some Spanish mackerel, the mackerel are at Pex Lake halfway decently. So a nice mixture of fishing, nothing super red hot. Definitely fish around. And just to end real quick, in the shop this weekend, we have three or four new Costa sunglass frames that you need to check out. This really cool limited edition hat from Skinny Water Culture along with another one. Uh, there's new custom rods, all kinds of good stuff. So if you're not fishing, if you're not at the Miami Boat Show, come by and see us at the shop. The fishing report will be up a little bit. The full written report, a lot of the same stuff at junobait.com a little bit later today. Thanks for watching, guys.